Hello, so just starting off with the Dales Way link path, we can see the green sign on the lamppost just in front of us down at the base of Bradford Cathedral steps. We'll be taking our, our route up the steps on the right hand side. If you do need a level access to this Dales Way link, you can follow Canal Road and Valley Road, which are on the left hand side of the, of the uh, image and walk will be going on. That is a level route and will link back into the Green Valley cycle and footpath just outside Bradford City Centre, adjacent to the Frisinghall Station. It's a, a short level access route. The route we will be taking on the start of the Dales Way link is quite a steep section to begin with. But as I said, we are starting off down at the base of Bradford Cathedral, so one of the large historic aspects of Bradford City Centre. On the left hand side, we have uh, what used to be the Bradford Canal Basin, so that has all now been infilled and covered over after various phases of uh, infilling during the 19th and 20th century, now converted into a shopping centre. This is a larger historic part of Bradford as well, known as Little Germany, and I'll pass over to George to talk about that for a second. Yeah. Little Germany, uh, everybody thinks of as the major area of uh, textile warehousing in Bradford, growing up largely uh, from the mid 19th century onwards. Um, that's only one part of it. Why it's built there uh, is because it's near the two railheads in Bradford what was the old exchange station and what was the Midland Railway station, which is the one to the left uh, of, of, the, um, uh, of the image here. Um, so that you still got scraps and remnants of it surviving of what are basically textile warehouses, either for the home market or for export overseas, particularly for the German yarn market. Um, so these are all massive remnants of a, a, a legacy of Bradford's past in the textile industry, not just making textiles, but selling, exporting them, and so on. 